for joining me. So I'm back here today with a little bit of a different type of video. I'm here to show um, some items that are, to me, diamond painting related. Um, so I won't be un unboxing a painting today. Uh, but I just came back from a trip from visiting my sister in the Boston area. And look what I got, Harbor Freight. So my wonderful brother-in-law, um, agreed to follow my craziness and drive 20 minutes away just so I could get myself a whole uh, bunch of these Harbor Freight containers. So I have been wanting them so much. Um, I'm located here in Canada, so I don't have them here. So I picked up four of them and um, I was gracious that he uh, drove me to the local store and that they had them. Um, so I have these two here and then the other two I kitted up a painting I got while I was on vacation because the girls got a diamond paint. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing I wanted to share is I have been seeing everyone um, with these amazing, cute diamond painting uh, minders. So they're the little um, um, minders is the best way to put it, I guess, to hold back your cover, pa uh, cover paper when you're diamond painting. Um, I've seen a lot of stores on Facebook and I've checked out a lot on Etsy and I just couldn't justify the shipping cost of what the minders costed um, and then having to pay the shipping to ship it here in Canada. Um, my husband, I'm so gracious, he, he lets me do my crazy crafting thing, but I couldn't justify it to him. He would have thought I was crazy. So I went out today and I found... Um, these little magnets. Now I'm sure I might be able to find them cheaper and smaller, um, but this is what I was able to find today. And there's 12 magnets in here, so that would make me six, um, six minders, because you would need two. One on the actual piece and then one magnet that you would put underneath the canvas. So I picked up a package of these. And then at my local Michael store, they had these jewelry pieces, Whoa! as I break them. On clearance so I got them for 337 Canadian and it has a little embroidered pineapple because I love pineapples a follow your tribe and this cute little pineapple charm here and this one so I thought this would be great and I could um, maybe make some of my own minders so we're gonna give that a try and then it got me thinking hey you're an obsessive scrapbooker. You have a whole office downstairs filled with supplies. So I went uh, rummaging down there uh, today and I have a little container here filled with these little buttons. So these are little, some of them are stuck together, buttons that I've picked up and that I use on my scrapbooking pages. Some of them do have um, like, uh, like a brad like clip on the back of them let's see if i can find one like this and i still you'd still be able to use them and i've done it before for my scrapbooking pages where i use like a thick plier and i actually maneuver the brad pieces out and then it would be like a flat surface just like these other ones so i picked out a couple that i thought would be that i would really like for cover minders giraffes i am obsessed with them so i picked out this cute little guy i'm going to give that one a go Coffee, cat doesn't work without coffee. So I thought that was super cute. Um, and then also as an example, I have a couple of these Brad packs and I thought I might use one of these. And these, just as an example of what we have, the butterflies are really cute. All of them are really cute, I really enjoy them. Now these ones are self-adhesive, so I would think that we would have to um, de-sticky them to use the powder to take the sticker off of them and then adhere the mag magnet on. And then lastly, I might give a go, if it's not too small, at making this little elephant a minder. So my plan is to use some hot glue, um, maybe for these ones here to get my tools out to take out the key ring, but yeah. This was my compromise so that I can have some cute minders too. And, um, and this way I'm having some fun while I do it. Uh, along the same theory of seeing super cute stuff that um, the shipping seems really high here in Canada, I wanted to make, or I wanted to get a photopolymer pen. And 
I definitely couldn't, I mean, they're not ridiculously priced. I, for everything that I've seen, I think it's $15 Canadian, um, but most of them also have a $15 shipping charge. So for the same price, I could, I thought I could go ahead and purchase some of my own clay and have some fun trying to make my own. So I thought the best thing I wanted to start off was a marble finish. So I picked up a bunch of the white because I like the white base marble. I picked up a couple of these separate colors. Goodness knows, I've never worked with clay before. I could go and give this a try and be like, that $30 for that pen is worth every penny. Um, but I'm willing to try because, you know, I like doing crafts and doing it myself. Um, and then I also saw this pack and I used a coupon so I was able to get it, I think, 45% off or 50% off. And it had a lot of deep, uh, neat finishes, which I thought would look great with a marble. So it comes with stones, which is, um, here, I'm gonna open it up. Let's check this out. Pull it open. Okay, so there's more in here than I thought. So we get the um, a couple little blocks of the stones. So this is like a white glitter, okay? And then we have like a, grayish stone color and I thought these would look like um, to use them minimally to make nice uh, grains in the marble so our nice fluorescent pink bright fluorescent yellow and then we get our glitters and we have a gold glitter a brown glitter of course we have our glitter glitter so this is our silver glitter and a black glitter. I don't know if you can see that. My lighting's just a little bit off here today. There, that's probably good. Um, and then pearl finishes. So the pearl finishes is this like, I would call this like a grainy apple green, a nice, nice green, and it's got a beautiful pearl on it. Um, I don't know, like a turquoisey blue, nice blue. A black, per, uh, black pearlized finish and a pink pearlized finish. So I've watched a lot of videos on how to make these pens and I, I am going to give it a go. I don't know when I'm going to give it a go because I have to build up that courage to give it a try. Um, but I have watched a lot of videos and different tips on how to do it and um, and we're, we're going to see how it comes out. Um, I'm really curious and I'll be sure once I get a few pens made. Um, I'll come back and share with you what I put together and um, I don't know maybe if I can actually do it so no promises but if I can actually do it maybe I'll come back and show you some tips um, that I come across while while making them and how I did my process because I'm sure there's so many different ways out there but I thought that this was a great starters kit um, because all I really want to do is make I don't need a much of each of these colors because I just want to have thin grains it's it's what I got going on in my crazy head of mine. So I thought that was a fun kit and it was a great deal to get it for the 50% um, off or 45 or something like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you guys on pause and I'm going to try and see about these cover minders. And when I come back, I will share what I came up with. Thanks so much. Okay, I'm back. I got the glue gun working and I picked out um, some items to make my own cover minders. Um, so I can have super cute ones too and not pay uh, crazy shipping. So I'm super excited. Um, I do have to say the magnets I picked up, I don't feel like they're the strongest. Um, so I may need to look into some different options. Um, but here's what I did. So I have my little giraffe and my magnets on the back. So, I mean, I think it'll do the job. I'm not sure if it'll work for a canvas. Maybe I'll give that a try. I have my cute little glitter elephant that I made. Okay. I picked out this brad here. So, it's a fabric um, denim brad with love on it. My magnets. I used the gold little pineapple. Whoa, look at me shake. Crazy. Okay, the gold little pineapple, and excuse the nails, I had my uh, gel nail polish when I was on holidays and they tore on me. And this, oh my God, look at how bad that is. So embarrassing. Okay, 
and I have this cute little embroidered um, pineapple and as you can see I clipped off the ring that would connect it to a necklace and then I clipped off the hook and I actually let me show you what I used to do that so part of my scrapbooking arsenal is I have a crocodile and it's from we are memory keepers and this tool I mean I used it for from everything from making my own scrapbooks um, to punching new holes in belts <laughs> Um, to ripping off pieces of jewelry. So there's all different types of brad settings that you can spin the dial to, or even down here, you can punch papers with different hole sizes and the pieces can snap out and you can set different configurations. Anyways, it's been a super, super helpful tool for me. So that's what I use to get this done. And then lastly, I picked out, which I think I showed you, here's my little coffee heart. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put you on hold. I'm gonna grab a smaller canvas that I'm working on and let's see if the magnets are actually strong enough. Okay, so let's give this a go. So I grabbed one of my smaller paintings here and I'm gonna pull back my cover. We're gonna stick a pineapple on. Will that hold? Yes. Um, it's not the sturdiest. Old, I would say but it definitely works and it definitely the other thing which I'd never thought about like because part of me was like hey my papers stay pretty good when they're folded back um but the thing I wasn't thinking of is this actually helps me mark where my line is so this is with the clear cover super cute um I'm gonna go grab a painting I have with the paper cover to see if these magnets would be strong enough to work with those. Okay, one second. Okay, so I grabbed the first paper canvas I could find, which ironically enough was that Fuyun uh, unicorn that I received that was crumpled. So I'm actually interested to come back to see how the canvas is looking. Let's see. I was actually curious to see if any bubbles were gonna develop because the canvas was so uh, crumpled. But no, actually, it does look pretty good. Okay, so back, back to why we're really here. So we're gonna peel this back. So let's say I'm gonna work on that area. And let's see if it's strong enough to go through the paper. And it is, it is, it isn't, it isn't really, I gotta be honest. These were not the best magnets. So I may, um, yeah, it won't really work for the paper so well. So that was a bit of a fail. Uh, let's see. I mean, it does and it doesn't. It will stick there. Moving it around a lot, it won't hold. So I think these are gonna be okay for now, but I think I am gonna take a look um, for a stronger quality magnet. So I'm gonna come back and show you the packaging of what I purchased because I don't recommend it for this. Um, so it's the Flexible Magnets Pro Mag. And I am going to take a look to see if I can find something different. So I'm gonna, I just attached them with the glue gun. So I'm gonna leave them there for now so I can use them. And um, as I said, it, it works if I, if I hold it, it's better than nothing. Uh, let's put that in frame but I am going to take a look to see if I can find some other magnets that will uh, work a little bit better with the opaque covers because I have a lot of canvases with the opaque covers okay so in closing we unboxed no diamond painting today but a whole bunch of my uh, ooh, dancing magnet randomness I am going to bring you in we're traveling. Bring you in nice and tight here. Let's go straight. Sorry about that. And so here are the six cover minders that I went on a quest to make myself um, so that I can have some pretty ones too. And it was pretty inexpensive. I think, well, these didn't work the greatest, so I don't recommend them. I think these were only like $4.99 and I spent uh, $3.97 on the charm package and I used two of those 
and then I just used some stuff for my stash. So to me, I saved a lot of money um, by doing it this way. And I will keep my eye open for cute little uh, items that I may want to turn into uh, other cover minders. But right now, I'm happy with the six that I have. They will work, you know, decently. Something that I'm happy with for my clear covers. And when I get some new magnets, we'll uh, switch them around so that they can work just a little bit better on those opaque covers. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this little bit of a random video where we talk about how we're gonna try to make our own photopolymer pens. I'm a little bit intimidated, I have to admit, but uh, you know, let's give it a go. These went pretty good, I'm happy with them. Uh, so yeah. Thank you so much for joining me and I will come back to you once I work up the cover, uh, courage and we get a pen going and I will share with you uh, my outcome. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this video, uh, I would be ever so grateful if you hit the like button or if you wanted to subscribe, I would love to have you along and um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, you can just put it in the comments below and I will be sure to answer you as soon as I can. All right, everyone, have a great day and I hope you all are crafting. Thanks.